All right. It's more Bellatro. I've been really jamming this this weekend. I don't know. I'm in. I'm in a mood to play more of this. Okay. I mean, I've learned with this that just pretty much, if I'm not using this properly, kind of hard to win. Which I guess the next patch addresses a bit more. But we don't have that yet. Well, I could opt into it in the PC, but... I was playing this on the Switch, and I definitely feel it. Like sometimes you feel like you're just fishing for for things. It's a pet. That is a shame. Should still get me over the line. Yeah, but that's not a good one. However, this could be interesting. Okay. So I'm gonna go with the simple hand. I need this to proc, otherwise runs over, basically. But it's worth attempting. Level up. It's over. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, one in four. One in four chance. I know that means it's it's not like. I wonder if this is pseudo random. I guess that was one in four. I lost though. Too late. I needed it to prop twice. Alright. I mean, I had no other option. I have a flush. the problem. It needs to be something that provides malt. Because it's hard early on. Keep two pairing. It's not gonna get me over the line unless. Oh. That'll do. Lucky. Mm. 
Yes, please. Thank you. This is just going to create jackasses, there's no point. Um, but I'll buy this. Hold it in reserve. Okay, that's fine. Um... This thing is interesting, but I've never really found a use for it. I think what this needs is like, if you're playing... This needs to have some benefit to high card plays. If it has a benefit to high card plays, then this would be a pretty cool card. But on its own, it's just... The benefit it adds is pretty minimal. I mean, I can do it now, but see, that's just gonna add two chips and it'll trigger whatever card it is, which is like, it's not really worth it, given the range of jokers available. So I don't know. And the good news is it just becomes fodder to sell. something. Should be at the end of the chain. to be insane. Oh god. something insane. probably better. Divinacci is just like a better version of that. Okay. Ace-235. Let's see, at this point I'm just doing... Look at this! I know this is this is mental. Don't 
care about that too much. Set money to zero. Hmm. Full of gold cards. Insane. Fibonacci. is a build. I mean, before we even consider doing this... Maybe. No, but it's considered face card, not a king. Get rid of it. Damn. 
three of a kind. It's not, it's not bad. Oh, you asshole! Mind you, that's not gonna work. Why does it do this? Like, just anti-fun. <laughs> Sometimes it's such an ass. Like, oh, I see you're doing a build with face cards. Sure would be a shame if a boss were to turn up that, like, destroys that idea. Can I just, like, just see what happens? It did it. The build is still alive. in case something annoying pops up. Sun. Something. I need that boot. This is all. This is all well and good.
the insanity that, that this is fueling. Cool as this is. This is going to pop off now. Hey, Vanna, how's it going? This is one... One card from being the most insane thing I've had in this game. Cards going well. I have this. At the moment, I have this thing going where it's like converting everything to gold. Cards are becoming gold. The gold cards, they give you money for each one that you hang on to. to explain, but like... This thing converts a card to a gold card if it's like Jack, Queen, or King. 
I started with that. But then I got this thing that says any card is considered a face card, so that means everything is considered Jack, Queen, and King. So that means no matter what no matter what card I play, it turns into gold. And I got this thing where it's like face cards give chips. So every card I play is making these two go off. I don't know why I'm hanging on to that one. It's, uh, it's kind of insane. The only thing is, it's like, it needs one more thing to become perfect. But I'm not sure I'm going to get it. This might be the end. It's a bad draw. Okay, let's just play this, because this gets rid of the non-Fibonacci. what this was a problem. I didn't think it'd be that big of a problem, but it's a problem, so I might lose now. How's your weekend going, anyway? Okay. No, that's good. Strongest hand. It needed to be even stronger than that. Nice, two, three, four. Nah, I got nothing. Well, it's not like I walk away with nothing, because I do get an unlock. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Just discovered a turtle in your pond. Oh, really? That's cool. Is it big? Wait. Hang on. I forgot what I'm doing. We're fishing for blinds. That has a rare joker, but like the rare jokers, they don't really set up anything. It's too stressful. I'd rather the common joker. If nothing else, that was cool, but it, it just, I was looking for a vampire card. That would have been insane with a vampire. Alright, this one it could give. No, it didn't. I just want something that starts with a Joker or a shop. That's fine. That one's okay. Something that sets up a playstyle, that's what I want. Ultimately. Medium size has some floods. Must have moved in then. Ah. How is the eclipse, by the way? Got some people popping in, just saying it was crazy. Just how much people flocked. Amazing, but that being said, if it's like this, it could be pretty legit.
it rained there? Ah, oh, that sucks. Unfortunate. set up. That is just no-brainer. Stop. <laughs> the pictures online were nice. <laughs> also so like, um... Google Trends, just the amount of Google searches that went up on people asking why their eyes are hurting. See, that's something we learnt in school, despite there not being an eclipse for ages. Like, we made a pinhole camera. And they talked about the eclipses, and then they're like, yeah, don't look directly, and, like, it got communicated in school. <laughs> don't ever look directly into an eclipse if you ever, if you see one. Have I been? I've been alright, just busy with work and whatnot. Otherwise, good. Americans are dumb. I mean... I, un I understand that, like, I think every country... This is this is this is my my theory is like every country has stupid people. It does. But I think the problem is this is a positive and a negative thing. Is like Americans are very confident. It's a very good thing in the sense that like, you know, when that confidence is placed in a good place, it's good to be confident like that. But then the flip side is is like when you get stupid people it's just like, that confidence is so dangerous. It's just, I think that's what it is. Because cultural confidence is like an American thing. Or being proud of, like, something. That's not to say it doesn't happen in other countries, but, like, to the percentage of people that are like that, I guess, is, like, it's a higher density. So, you guys are just... You guys have s louder stupid people. <laughs> that's... That's the way that I see it. But also school system, you know... I've heard from American friends that the school system's not great. It's a little cooked. I'm gonna lose, aren't I? I guess we'll see. Well, I can't... Like, the, this is going to work off... Yeah. I mean... It's kind of like, you know... I've had conversations with people where they they thought they're thinking about like the negative things where they live currently and, you know they kind of romanticize going somewhere like going to a completely other country and um you know because one particular facet is better and it, it that is understandable however it's kind of like 
Every country has very similar problems. So it's kind of like you're leaving one problem to, uh... to hopefully, like, work better with another. The school system's not good, but you were taught to not look at the sun with even an eclipse. Yeah. No, well, that's, that's right. Like, now that you say that, yes. <laughs> Same here. Got taught to not look at the sun, period. Like, you just don't do it. But yeah, man, it's like, sometimes, I don't know, it's like... I don't, I don't want, one thing I don't like doing is putting people in a box. That's just like a thing that I don't like. So I don't want to put everyone in, from like somewhere in a, in a particular box. But then, you know, there are, there are video clips that make it here of, like, talk show hosts debating on what the moon is. I'm gonna lose. I wish it... It would show you, like, what hand has been played this time, so then I could plan around it, but... I guess play two pair. Maybe it's been played before. It hasn't. Yeah. You haven't- you haven't seen that video? Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I have to send you this now. This is ab absolute insanity. Um, check this out. <laughs> it's like it's a classic in um, just questioning human intelligence, really, and school systems, and it kind of reaffirms what I was saying in terms of like someone that's confident and stupid is a dangerous thing because in this clip there is someone there that is clearly not educated on the matter and is so confident that he's right that he's like willing to derail the segment and get someone to go look it up to prove that he's right it's just like when none of them are correct and you love that in the background, they're just, like, just cringing <laughs> because they know the answer. Oh, uh, shit. Yeah, go have a look. I'd play it on, on Twitch, but, like, it's from a TV shopping network and, you know, DMCA is a thing. A few times I've played clips and then the VOD is, like, um, not happy about that. Sorry. That one. I mean, I tried, but it's salvage. Thank you. 
Ooh, this one's crazy, but no. Okay, this isn't. This is a start. Ace two three four five. Ace two three five eight. That's the build we're doing. Wait, yeah, but that's debuffed, so it doesn't matter. I could just play this because it's not bad. Ace, two, three, four, five. Good hand. That's insane, right? Like, they're just debating about what the moon is. And um, neither of them are correct, but at least one of them is willing to be like, oh, I'm not sure. And just the cast in the background, they're just, man, you can see it. What? Like, a few of them know what it is. Yeah. Oh, okay. Your son. The moon is a moon. Yeah, it's it's just it's its own thing. <laughs> but this yeah, that stuff is everywhere. just comes down to how loud of an idiot do you have? Okay. I mean, I don't want to, but let's just, let's just see. That's what I want. The Fibonacci be strong. gonna play hang on five cards from the left it should do something <laughs> it already won ten four straight yeah save my money Something. I have something. This is a good short term card. This is the best hand I can play. Ace, two, 
Well, if it was a heart, it'd be even better, but... In terms of hitting this... Banana, it's nice and easy. Short term one. is a good idea here. But there's an 8 there. I mean, let's just see what we can do with this. Nice 2, 3. Okay, I need... That'll do. That hits 3 numbers. Ah, oh, banana died. Rip banana. Um. Uh, thinking, thinking about it. Yep, one of these. Okay, so. I'll do the eights. Crazy eights. to get rid of the card that I don't want. The Mime. That's uncommon. That's the only reason I'm buying it, because it's like, kind of fuels this. Honestly.
just something to make this really, really pop. Nearly. Um, do that. This is nothing. Didn't get ace. Um, all right, let's just play that. It's like it's a bad hand, but you know. Pick the L on it. Okay, there it is. Ace, two, three, four, five. All right. Huh. And it's free, so why not? Pick the five. Just anything that powers Fibonacci. The eight? play five cards. I hate this boss because I forget about the five card thing, as stupid as that might sound. Flush potential. No. Three, four, five, six, eight. Hope for the best. Alright, I mean, that's not bad. Oh, you gotta be kidding. I got a pair. It's not gonna proc Fibonacci, but... Should get me over the line. Nope. Just just under. Okay, this will be fine. <laughs> right, the mime is gonna re-trigger the gold card. I didn't even think about that. Rare Joker set money to zero. That's actually good, because we're doing Fibonacci. There's overlap there. The ice cream is eventually going to falter. Not a bad pickup. Not yet. Alright, now that's doing too much for me. I'm 
unfortunate. Um, I am just going to... Can't do that. I want to use it. Just do it. Like, ultimately, I, I need to feed this. Okay, there's a flush. It's not a good hand, but... At least it'll clear the board. Okay, I have triple eight. That's good. That's a good hand. Ah, I mean... It's fine. Okay, that's another Fibonacci hand. Again, as long as I don't play heart, but still, that's annoying. Ace, two, three, four, five. If I play straight, oh, that actually works well because, yeah. Flush. Man, why does this game hate me sometimes? <laughs> okay, I still got three hands left. Thank you. Okay. That does no straight. As tempting as the two pair is. Oh, sorry, the pair. The pair of twos is what I meant. <laughs> Nearly. Um, they're gonna get debuffed anyway. This is my last hand, so... I don't have anything else. The problem is this is offering too much of foil, otherwise like I would gamble and see what this gives me, but it's like, it's, it's not gonna help, so. Just enough. Definitely want that. On Fibonacci.
just bigger checker. Not a bad hand either. Okay, this has this has legs now. That's a horrible one. I have a flush, but like then I would only have to play flush, and that's. Ugh, but then again, it's like it's a hot flush. Wasn't that a flush? Uh oh. I thought that was a flush. Oh no, repeat hands. Not play the same hand. Uh oh. I just wasted a bunch. Okay, no, that's fine. Pivot. Steel mime. Good hand. Oh. Ten chips. It's gonna get eight. But this is a better hand in terms of winning. Okay.
I'm surprised this has made it this far, to be honest. Time to pivot. Mm, interesting. So I misplayed hand. My misplayed hand is blush. To don't play flush, basically. I think it's gonna gonna make it. It's not scoring high enough. card. Okay. It's not Fibonacci, unfortunately. No. Yes. to make it I need to keep the steel card in play yeah I mean if it wasn't for the extra large blind I would have won It was good, it's just unfortunate how it ended. It's a fun build. Not as long as it's not a rare joker, just something. Because I'm tired of like struggling on the first blind because it's just I don't have money to buy the joker or it's just not a, like something that sets up a play style. style potentially it's not in the spirit of roguelikes I hate doing that but just I don't know particularly on green blind I feel like that's the case because of just the score requirement for it 
I found that a lot of the times it's just like, you're just so on the back foot. choices. I mean, at least that could get me over the line, potentially. So just don't Discard. Yes. Okay. Okay. Time to feed the knife. Since we can't discard, do that. That worked. Luckily. something here, I think. Because I don't think, like, they'd set that up realistically. Mm -hmm. 
All right, it's, it's a build. This is probably more powerful than that. Um, that's cool. It completely say I hate this boss. I should still be able to get over the line. No problem. scaling more than one way oh god it's a wall in the square joke. <laughs> I need to scale the joke up. I can't buy it. Crap, I want that, but I can't buy it. Um, okay. Well, actually, no, it's fine. Just do that. There we go. Decent contribution.
I'm just just because this is worth more. I'm not gonna get four of a kind. Well, that's annoying. Alright, get rid of as many of these as I can in one hand. Doesn't, doesn't really affect me. Build is still scaling. Expensive one for the pulping. money like that's all well and good but I need to keep feeding things this is an annoying one to deal with because it's gonna deep it's gonna debuff I need to play strategically here Oh wait, no, I misread it. That's okay, we're fine. I thought for a sec it was going to discard, but it's fine. Good idea. <gasps> uh oh. I forgot about the knife. Mind you, it's not too horrible. At least I don't think so. I'm gonna have to pivot like a madman, but what's the danger with the knife? I forget. I 
mean, at this point. At this point, feed the knife. Oh, but I can discard now. I'm not restricted by the discards anymore. This just get me over the line. Potentially. Luckiest joker of my life. Oh, there's no way I should have won that. That was straight up a loss if it wasn't for that joker that came up in the shop. I'm not, it's not over yet, but. It's an extra large blind. Of course it is. Steel card.
time I play this knife, like, I do something stupid with it. Good uh, knife food. Vessel man of all the ones to get. Okay. This might change things. It's not going to proc in time. Oh, God. One, one away. Again, I got destroyed by this thing. And my own stupidity. But, like... <laughs> the extra large blind, primarily.
Nachi. Not a bad start. Okay. This should get me over the line right away. Fibonacci number. Okay. Pretty unlikely, but, you know, use it. Why not? happen. I should have bought that first. It's okay. I'm not gonna fuck with the knife this time. I think I'm good. It's just the micromanagement around it, not when I have this.
die doch hart. Ich denke mal, okay, so now. Just to get like an extra malt on this. Trying to give it a reason. We don't want steel aces, we want steel like nine, for example. Ow. Oh.
Okay, well, I kind of have to. This one probably good. This just it doesn't really give much malt as a thing, like it's not great. I think I'm fine. This is probably going to get me more. Maybe. Um, Alright, let's go. Play one hand, of course. Trying to empower it. This should be way more for what you're getting. Okay. It's good. I've never gotten. Oh. We have found a replacement. This is like Fibonacci overlap. Is I can stop re rolling. Um, to re trigger, absolutely. Okay. 
Okay. Well, you know, it's not perfect. It's still good. Go again. Go again. played hand. Apparently two pair. That makes sense. Disgusting. hands okay but it's still okay this has become just a game of Fibonacci Insane. Steel card, um, seven. This 
practicing? What are the little utilities I can buy myself? That's kind of shitty. I guess if I was to sell one, it'd be... Hack. It is what it is. Um... Now I want aces again. Alright, well, let's play... Victory. I'll see where the, this takes me. Sure. Steel card. Hand size was more useful. Yeah, I mean, honestly, you never know. Uh, doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure this will pop twice. Maybe. Straights we made with gaps, yeah, but we're not doing straights, so it doesn't matter. See what happens. Not bad. Okay. I'm not gonna play five card I'm not gonna play four cards because I'm gonna play five. So that makes the multiplier. Mental.
It's not the most amazing build, but it's getting me somewhere. Am I winning? I've, I've won the run, but I'm trying to get the achievement where you get to the 12th round. And it's kind of insane to do that. Okay. I have four steel cards in my hand. Oh god. Holy shit. 2.2 .2 million and one. It's not the best I've done on PC. How's it going confirming anyway? Yeah, I'll do that. Bought this game on the Switch. It's just so so addictive. You have a month of coasting. Oh, so you finished clinical and almost all your assignments. That's nice. Yeah, I had a subject when I was in university that, um, yeah, it's, uh, I did nothing in it. <laughs> I finished all the assignments and then Mondays became getting a chicken Caesar sandwich and then going to the movies because it was like a cheap day. It was great. And it's, it's not like I was being disrespectful or anything, but like, there was nothing to do. I straight up finished everything. And I just hate that that was the reality of that subject. I'm not going to make this one, I don't think. Yeah, it's one, one million, and this is like a bad boss. I should have rerolled the boss. I wasn't paying attention. But not that this would have gone the extreme distance. Like, this, this caps out. Don't find paramedicine hard. It's just so many hours. Yeah. Are you doing anything that's, like, unrelated at all? Because that's the thing that I find annoying about just study is sometimes you learn things, or at least there's prerequisites to do certain subjects where it's just like, what's this got to do with what I'm going to do in my profession? Because they want to squeeze more money out of you. 
Well, I'm not going to win. But, oh, I mean, okay, I won. I won. I did. I didn't get an unlock. Huh, interesting. Um, but now I'm up to green stake on this one. Take a lot of dumb courses seven years ago for EMT. You had to take a. You only had to take sociology this year. Okay, that's not too bad. The biggest waste of time I did was that subject I just I just talked about just then, where like I got all the assignments done, and I would go eat chicken Caesar sandwiches and go to the movies. Like, yep, that's a fine use of my money. I did more in high school visual communication than that university subject. Yeah, that's how it is. There's the Steel King. I'll probably go for Flush. Do this instead. Your coworker had to take all of the electors this year since she didn't get her EMT from college. Ugh. Yeah. I think just the part that kind of worked my eyes up to them just wanting to get more money and that why they pushed the whole like. Um, interesting. Why they push the whole, hey, this is an unrelated subject thing, was when I finished my degree, just so many of the higher faculty members were trying to convince me to do masters. And the first time I had the conversation, it was like, okay, oh, masters hadn't consider it. What do you do in masters? And they ex they told me, oh well, um, you know, your degree is in, um, you know, design and digital stuff. So the master master would be in um, internet security. Okay, but that's got nothing to do with what I'm doing for a job. Why would I do that? Oh, it looks good on a resume, and that was the only reason they could give me, like, as to why I should do it. It's like, okay, you guys just want money. Like, this has absolutely zero to do with what, like, I aspire to be. And you're pushing me to, like, take it? Yeah. I'm not gonna win. I'm looking at this, it's like... That's a pretty big hill to get over. I guess let's... Uh, we've got to try, but like... same time that will help a lot I have two ways I can play this it worked out thankfully I think All of the electors you took were at least slightly related. You had to take interpersonal communication, psychology, human bio, A&P, sociology and English. So nothing too irrelevant. Okay. Interpersonal communication made you want to gouge your eye out. Is that like just really cringe how to talk to people? 
And I'm using cringe in like the right the right sense here. Okay, it was, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know what to say. People like dishonesty. Your mouth is only one form of communication. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, man. That just reminds me of, like, um, an anti-bullying, um, what was it? it? It was in elementary school, or primary school, if you're Aussie, right? But it was some group that, I guess, was going school to school, just doing, um, a workshop on how to deal with bullying. No, it was in high school. It was early. It was like junior year high school. That's what it was. Very first year of high school. I, was, I thought it was like late elementary school, but it wasn't. It was junior year high school. And the advice they were giving, it's like no one would say that to anyone. So they were like, if you get bullied, you tell the bully, I don't like what you're doing slash saying. And it, it said that on the pamphlet. It's like, I don't like what you're doing slash saying. That was the advice. Tell a teacher. Tell your parents. It's just like empty advice. But I just remember we were ripping on the the pamphlet. Just, I don't like what you're doing slash saying. <laughs> oh dear. There were, other, there were other ones, but it was the line was always like doing slash saying. Oh, leave him slash her alone. <laughs> that was another one. Leave him slash her alone. I don't like what you're doing slash saying. Yeah. begs the question who writes these things. Really? Well... Either way, it screws my plan, but... I tried to go for a straight and a flush, but I, I must have, like, missed it. But you knew who someone who was... Someone's... Your friend's kid was getting bullied by a girl whose mom is in prison for mess selling. And your solution was to wear a print of a mugshot of the mom on the t-shirt and have the kid wear it at school. I mean, I, I love the, the fuck you approach, but, like... Man. <laughs> that's the that's the thing. It's It's funny, but you know the two wrongs don't make a right and the uh I guess it depends how violent the said bully bully was. I can imagine that plan um taking a, a bad turn. Finally. Not that it matters, I think I'm done. Yeah, not enough. I'll tell you that wouldn't solve the problem. Well, if the bully gets angry, it's kind of like... It's not the feelings, right? It's not the feelings at all. It's more like... 
by having that kind of response, it can go one of two ways. It's like, either they get emotionally crippled to the point where, like, that's it. They back down and that's, that's the intent. Good. Or it's like the polar opposite, where it's like, it makes them so enraged that they beat the living crap out of the person wearing the t-shirt. So it's like, it's a double-edged sword. <laughs> it's a coin flip. There is no in-between. It, it's either embarrassed to the point where it's like, okay, I shouldn't mess with this person. And it's just like, you know, they become an outcast or whatever. Or violence, extreme violence. I don't know, man. It's like, conceptually, it's funny, <laughs> but... I don't think it's, it'll, it'll give the result. I get the feeling that it'll lean more towards the violent encounter. Your friend's kid would win the violent encounter. Still. You know what? Better yet. Here's a better solution. You both turn up like, you get two t-shirts. The parent and the child turn up to school with the t-shirt. Together, wearing it. Twins. <laughs> not, the, not just the child, just drop the child off. And make sure that, you know... The kid sees the parent and the child wearing the t-shirt. So, it's just a small nod of, yes, my parent knows. I think the dad is in prison too. Jesus, dude. <laughs> One shirt for each. Man. Poor kids. Thank you. Just anything like... Do I wanna? Do I wanna? I guess we'll, we'll see where this goes. Definitely want a steel card though. We'll see where the road takes me. Oh, this is one. Trigger the, the ability. Okay. Is, well, okay. No, but it's fine. Like, I can see what's going to happen. Okay. No. Welcome to Fibonacci. We Fibonacci again. I love the, I love this card. This card is amazing. The swashbuckler. Oh, hold on. Open the spectral pack. Unfortunately, um, we don't want either of these. Sometimes you get the one where it can clone the Joker, and that is just insanity. If that would have cloned that Joker. I mean, this will set up like a nice little cheap build. For now.
actually do this. Two, three, four, five, six. No, ace, two, three, four, five. It's even better. <laughs> this one can be interesting. It's constantly adding new cards. So it can go one of two ways. I like brick this to the point where it just makes it hard to line up anything, or we like pivot to a single card play. I, I, I like the potential direction. Two, three, four, five, damn. These cards are interesting. There's two jokers that would benefit from this. The vampire, the stone joker. I just got another joker that scales. I oh know we got we are going to the moon. Feel it like this is just going to work. My budget build should be okay. I also want the stone joker. something. Next edition becomes foil. Um, I'm gonna play because I want the proc that. Um, this, I'm gonna be discarding a flush actually. Let me see if I can get a better. Mm, not really. Get it. I'll probably get rid of Swashbuckler. This is just to set me up early. <sighs> okay. The pivot is going to be so real. So every time I discard, I'm going to be leveling up high card. We are pivoting to high card. Eventually, the stone cards will overwhelm my deck. But then, at that point, I just need to play one card. Okay, we want this. 
Let's just set up work. Okay, um, discard the single that. Mind you, I could have, I could have probably set it up, so yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, I'll be more smarter with my discards next round. Okay, I'm curious, how much does... So, hang on, high card is 35 times 4. Oh yeah, no, high card is, is like, already the pivot. Thirty times three. Yeah, high card is it's better than this. Would you believe? Um, but then that makes Fibonacci like kind of less useful. I guess I shouldn't. Yeah, okay. I see, I see what I'm doing wrong. Like it's crazy, but not insane crazy. I think this is still technically stronger just by a little bit. Okay, just cleared it. I have the right idea. swashbuckler and then can do this okay this is how I'm smart with my discards this is the better hand. Just because of Fibonacci's, like, nature to multiply. But the pivot will happen eventually. Oh, shit. shouldn't fuck with the knife. Just the times that it, the times that I have it's it's caused problems. Okay, so this is what I'm referring to here, like the pivot. How much is this gonna score? Let's see. Eight thousand. Yeah. It's not bad. It'll only get better. I suppose the wild card is the misprint because, like, the multiplier is not guaranteed. Knife again. Um,
what's the best I can do right now. Right. Ugh, this is an annoying boss. Just gotta trust the high card. That works. Look at this. Why not? Definitely worth more. The pivot is insane. Basically turning non-Fibonacci cards into stone cards. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. This is so funny. No, we're, dis we're discarding for high card. so funny. I want to just play five stone cards and see what happens. I don't think I've done that. up high card. Alright. Now what's that? Level up high card? Can 
insane. I wanna try and line it up so I'm like, just... Please tell me this is five stone cards. Ugh, oh, damn it. Not bad. Is it? Have to try. I need some like as cool as this is. I kind of need something else. <laughs> this is funny. Oh, here we go. Five stone cards. What is this going to do? This is a high card. Okay, what if I what if I discard five stone cards? There's hidden unlocks behind stuff. That'll be my next thing. Discard five stone cards. Sure. Um. Yes, I want money. Definitely want another steel card. Oh, I should buy... Not because it's gonna do anything, but because it's gonna increase the multiplier of this. Okay. Isn't the time to to be greedy with this? So I'm going to do this. I guess this will give reliably 15 malt, but then I'd lose 50 chips. Probably a good idea. It's just like... Something more reliable. Got it. I 
I'm about to get my five. I well, my five stone card discard. Yeah, let's do this. There it is. Discard five. Oh, I can't discard five stone cards. Because I don't have any discards left. Um, I mean, do do this. Oh, right. Do this. Better. It's the best I can do, so hope for the best. I love how Fibonacci is just basically there as a multiplier now at this point. I might be able to get my... my stone card discard. Alright, there it is. Five stone cards discarded. Nothing. I, I, I tried. I, I really thought it would give me something for it, but it didn't. It's, it's funny. <laughs> if nothing else, it's amusing. Let me just do this. <laughs> Look at the stone cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen stone cards. Mental. Difference, but sure. Um, double the amount of money, max of 20, sure. This is just to get my planet multiplier a little higher. strongest hand I can play. Fifty-two thousand from just playing one well, not one card, but one card. This is not- this is gonna win, it's not gonna go the extreme distance. The 
this point destroy non two non Fibonacci cards. I guess open it and if there's a steel card, take it. Gold card. Probably the ace. Give me more multiplier. Alright, we're at 2x. No repeat hands. I'm fucked. That just single-handedly screwed me. Even with my strongest hand. Okay, cool. Now I need to make up this deficit. Nearly a flush. I can't play high card. Oh, sorry, a straight. Nearly a straight, not a flush. Um, actually, nearly a flush as well. I'm gonna have to take this and just. What's gonna happen? I lose. I didn't have a way to reroll the boss. There's no winning. I don't have another hand to play. Even if I include this in the... That's so annoying. I didn't have a way to reroll the boss. Okay. I'm gonna take a small intermission, but I'm gonna split the VOD at this point has been a few hours but uh if you're watching this later on youtube hope you enjoyed uh i did win so at least there's something let me just before i end the video i just want to see something here do i have the stone joker yet um because that's what i was trying to do like add so many stone cards that the stone joker would get unlocked because i have that on my switch but i don't think i have it here uh, but yeah, if you want to support the channel in the meantime, you can do things like click the like button, subscribe, or watch me play other things by clicking any of those videos that pop up. Uh, that stuff helps out a lot, so appreciate it. But uh, yeah, you'll see more of this soon, but the stream will continue. <laughs> Bye, YouTube.